Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today is Wednesday, April 17th. I've been busy. I've been listing hats. You guys have been watching the videos. You know that I bought a huge hat lot yesterday. Came in the mail. Had, I think, what, 38 hats for like, a, what was it? Uh, for just $73 and some change. I, I pulled all those hats out of a bag yesterday. Showed everybody that hat lot. There was a lot of great vintage hats, some newer hats as well. And I've been busy trying to get my hats online so that I can recoup that investment. Uh, I've got a whole stack here that I listed this morning. Uh, these hats were the ones that I bought with my mom at Value Village uh, last weekend. That video is up on the channel as well. Uh, I went down south and showed her the purses and the jewelry from the last storage unit. And then we cruised over to Value Village and I picked up a handful of hats. Got those online and uh, those are all posted now, mostly into my small store. Finish that up, finish that up this morning. Got them sitting here. I got to put these away. Let me show you. There they are. Fresh inventory into the small store. I'm going to put that away into inventory. Here's that bag that was in yesterday's video. All those hats, 38 hats came out of this bag. And we got to work through that this week and this weekend. Here's what I got to put away into the big store. Some new inventory as well. So I'm going to get busy putting this stuff away. Yeah, that's probably one of the chores you guys don't see when you think about reselling. And these resellers online going here and there buying this and that uh, they all have to have these inventory systems to keep track of everything uh, inventory systems are very important when you're uh, dealing with a store as big as mine I've got uh, over 4,000 items in the big store and just shy of 2,000 in the small store and we both have uh, a little bit different inventory systems but I've switched to envelopes and uh, numbered envelopes and uh, Got them in those Costco totes. That's what I use, Costco totes. Some people do it different, but that's what I use. So I'm going to put these away, get them inventoried, and uh, put away in their proper place so that I can find them when they sell. And after that, we're going to get into this photo station, get some photos of these uh, DVDs taken, the last of the DVDs from the last the 10 by 10 storage unit. These have to be listed as well. And then we're on to more hats. We got three stacks here, kind of cattywampus on this. Uh, tote here uh, gonna get into listing these hats uh, these were all from that uh, big buyout yesterday 38 hats sitting here ready to be photographed and listed here are three that I cleaned up um, that came in the lot uh, this one did come out a little rough the other two came out looking fresh I had the stain on the bill it is gone now same with this Pittsburgh Pirates hat this one had a stain a nasty stain on that bill washed it right out so we're gonna get top money for those and uh, hopefully make a little bit of a uh, profit on them. And good news, I did get a call from a friend of mine, Peg. She uh, asked if I would come out and do the first mowing of the year at her yard. I did the first mowing of our yard uh, last weekend and uh, posted that video. She must have saw it and uh, remembered that I do those before and after lawn mowing videos. It's that season, so I'm going to go out there on Saturday take care of their lawn and uh, get it looking fresh for them. So that's the plan. Another before and after lawn mowing video. It should be fun to get over there and see what kind of job they got for me. I did it one time for them last year and uh, they got quite a yard so it should be a chore and a half. But uh, we'll get it knocked out. Hopefully get over there Saturday and make that happen for them. Once I finish with the hats we're gonna get into the plush. We got this tote full of uh, fun little plush to list up as well. Um, so plenty of inventory here in the photo station as you can see we're uh, jam packed full of stuff. I gotta get busy and do some work. Before the work begins we gotta fuel up. We're gonna get a little bit of lunch. Uh, heat some pizza up. We have some leftover pizza. Yesterday was two for Tuesdays at Little Caesars. We went and got a couple pies. We got a couple pepperonis here. So I'm gonna grab a couple slices. Keep it quick and easy today. Hit, the, hit them up in the microwave, get them warmed up and ready to eat, fuel up, and then we're going to get busy putting away inventory and uh, taking those photos and listing new items into the store. Should be a good day. It's a pizza. Number one. Number two. Hot and ready indeed.
Look at that. Alright, I'm going to have some pizza and some water and listen to Michael Bisbing and the boys talk about the fights. Big UFC 300 happened. They're still talking about it. It was quite a he show. Down, which I thought was the great thing to do. Great thing. But he can take more chances. Yep. All right, I just put away the new listings for the big store. Now I got the small store set up here, but I think I'm going to grab some orders out of the small store while I'm at it. Looks like we had four sales out of the small store. We'll start with uh, packing up the small store orders and then we'll get into the big store today. Let me show you guys what sold out of the small store. There you see it? We had four orders for $56.68. 56 68 for four orders. First item sold for $18.35. It's a new auto never summer snapback trucker style baseball hat cap red and white and blue. Second item sold for $17.01. It's a pair of Massimo red and white athletic swimming board short size large 34 inch waist by 9.5 inch inseam. Third order sold for $10.53. It's a Great Northwest gr white, gray, and pink woman's long sleeve pajama shirt top size 3X. And finally, this one sold for just $10.79. It's a medium short sleeve blue, a Seattle Mariners majestic graphic t-shirt top. All right, I'm going to put away all those orders and grab those four right there and uh, find those, get them ready to pack them up. All right, there they are through the magic of video. They suddenly appear. Four orders ready for shipping labels. Let's get them printed. All right, four orders, and here come those labels. Let's get these orders ready for the post office. Then we'll check out the big store. All right, so we meet again. The empty tote. Time to fill it up. We got four orders to go in there from the small store. Let's do it. Let's count them down. And a one, two, three, and four. All right, now that we've dealt with the small store orders, let's log into the big store, see what kind of action we have over there, see if we had any orders come in overnight. All right, we logged into the big store. Looks like we had four sales out of the big store. Let me show you guys what sold. There you see it, four sales for $66.24. First item sold for $13.88. It's a pair of Asics Gel Kahana running shoes, size seven and a half, women's black, gray, and blue. Second item sold for $27.23. It's a brand new Columbia black baseball hat, strap back, unisex, one size fits all cap. Third item sold for $11.93. It's a Kirkland Signature red polo shirt size, extra large, polyester. And the fourth item sold for $13.20. It's a Via Capri Active Performance Leggings Pants, women's size, extra large, 1618, keyword black. All right, we found the four orders. We got them ready, sitting here, ready for shipping labels. We're gonna print those labels and get them ready for the tote. Four orders, ready for labels, and here they come. Let's get these labels on these orders and uh, get them ready for the post office. All right, we got those orders packed up, which means one thing. You guys know what it means? It means we got four more for the tote. Let's count them off. And a one, and a two, and a three. And a four. It's filling up nicely. Now we got those orders packed up and put in the tote. It means uh, we can head into that photo station, get some photos taken, and get ready to list some more items into the big store. I've got some DVDs set out there as well as a pair of uh, high-end Timberland shoes. Those steel toe uh, slip-resistant work shoes. Let me show you what we got. All right, there are the CDs. We got 13 CDs left, as well as these Timberland shoes. I've showed the CDs, so I'll spare you that. But uh, these Timberland Pros, Steel Toe, I showed these in the past video. We picked these up on Sunday in uh, Marysville, the Marysville uh, Value Village. Uh, I think I paid $8.99 for these. So uh, we'll look them up and price them accordingly, but I'm guessing these were somewhere upwards of uh, $50 for these shoes since they are steel-toed Timberland Pros um, with the slip-resistant soles. So we're going to get these photographed and get those online. Hopefully we can be a pretty good sale off of those. And once that's done, we got these hats to deal with. So that'll probably be uh, Thursday and Friday. 
and Saturday and Sunday we'll be listing hats, hats, and more hats till we get them all online. All right, I got about six items listed into the big store. I think I'm gonna call it quits now. It's a little after nine o'clock when I like to end these videos, but I wanna thank everybody for watching this. Another day in the life of a reseller down. Um, you made it to the end. Congratulations. If you haven't yet, please take a second to hit that subscription button, ring that notification bell, and come on back for some more. We put these out every day, every morning these come out. So there's always a new one for you to watch. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.